I was afraid that after your schooling at San Francisco, you'd no longer care for our song to the rancho. On the contrary, Don Fernando, if anything, it's enhanced it. Tomorrow, Padre, every vaquero in Santa Margarita will want to confess he has a broken heart. <laughs> and not you too, Ricardo. I'm so disappointed. Oh. Well, what is it? Another raid on our cattle. Two, three hundred head, they run through San Luis Canyon. San Luis? What happened to our men then? Oh, they fight, senor. Two of the vaqueros have been killed. The rest, they ride for their lives. My men ran like sheep. To stay would mean to die like sheep, senor. They were three to our one. And besides, the, the vaqueros, they are afraid. Afraid? Afraid of what? They hear the Cisco kid is in this territory. Maybe he is the one. Inform the marshal. Double the guards. At once. Si, sí, senor. Pedro! Three raids on our cattle in a single month. Times have changed, Don Fernando. Not so long ago, when bandits came to Santa Margarita, we buried them here. I do not think my nephew has the courage to say what he means. It is very simple. The strongest arm is still law in Arizona. And I am too old and weak. Is that it? No, no. But I only ask for the authority to defend Santa Margarita before it is too late. You are very anxious for authority, eh? Perhaps more for yourself than for the good of the rancho. I'm sorry that my uncle feels that way. Take my advice, Ricardo, and do not let your ambitions make you foolish. While I am still alive, there will be only one master at Santa Margarita. Yes, but I only... That is enough. Please leave, all of you. You mustn't tie yourself, Godfather. Please rest. <laughs> Nonsense. I'm not the invalid Ricardo thinks I am. Now, please, go to your room. Good night, Don Fernando. No, 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 Father Tito, stay. I, I want to talk to you. 
sit down. And Maria is right. The doctor says he's worried about you. Oh, doctors, they're all undertakers. And perhaps, even though you deceive yourself, it isn't so easy to deceive the undertaker. I am old, and I cannot run Santa Margarita alone anymore. Yet I hesitate to turn all this over to Ricardo. There are others who would help you. My ward Rosita, hope woman. There is one who is even closer to you. Your grandson, Carlos. Carlos? In Santa Margarita? And this is where he belongs, Fernando. Your foolish pride came between you and your own daughter because she married against her will. Don't let that pride keep you from her son. Padre, I'm afraid it's too late. If you write the boy, uh, explaining that you need him, he will understand and come. You, you think so? I'm sure of it. But he was raised in Spain, in a city. He knows nothing of this life. You forget his mother was a De Vega. He has your blood. It shouldn't take him long to learn. By all the saints, I hope you're right. After me, Santa Margarita belongs to him. He will marry Rosita. And what about Maria? Oh, she will not be forgotten. I will do all that is proper for the daughter of my best friend. I will marry her to the finest vaquero on the rancho. Then, Padre, you can bury me in these old bones in peace. Isn't that jumping ahead of matters? First, you must write your grandson at once. And you are convinced that it is the right thing to do? Of course. Why do you smile? Padre, I sent the letter to Carlos two months ago. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to ride the bunch. You can't fight them. You like a ship on the rough ocean, eh, senor? I can't say. Never been on a ship. Never seen an ocean. Have you? Oh, see, a ship brought me to America. Yeah, where from? Granada. Where's that? In Spain. Surely you have heard of Granada. Have many by the eastern big horn, Texas. That's the end of my route. Get me! Get me! Where you bound for? Rancho Santa Margarita in Arizona. Yeah? Where's old Razor back now? Excuse me, senor, but I do not see anyone. <laughs> Razor back the moon. Oh. You know, I keep forgetting you're a stranger. And you know, when you get over that hump, mister, you're in the West. That will be very exciting. I have read a great deal about the West, the mountains, the cowboys and Indians, and even the road bandits like Jesse James and the Cisco Kid. Well, you're liable to see them all. Even the road bandits? You'll just have to see them first. Oh, that would be a great experience. <laughs> you know, it ain't any wonder they call you Englishman Furnace. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. Don't you fight her next. Look, a big I'm ashamed for you, amigo. You, the partner of the great Cisco Kid, who's wanted by every sheriff and marshal in two countries. <laughs> you waste your time chasing lizards. But Cisco, I do not do this for pleasure. No, then why? Mama Lopez, she tell me the car say, if I catch Pink Lagarto, we had a good luck. <laughs> bueno, that is good. <laughs> now that you catch the pink lizard, I see the difference. <laughs> the sheriff is our friend. We are rich. Hundreds of beautiful senoritas. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, amigo. I only... Oh, my little fat one. Maybe your pink lizard should do bring us luck. When?
a good job, Carver, no? Are you sure we got him? See, si, I make sure. Right here. Come, we go over the pass and be in Rio Oro before the coach arrives. And then? Then we will bring Don Fernando the sad news. <laughs> Passengers. Hey, amigo, come here. We put these dead hombres in the coach. But they, they don't care where to ride. Better to open the package, no? No, Gordito, someday you die too. It's better to be buried in the ground than in the stomach of a coyote. <laughs> we take this hombre first. Pull him, amigo. What are you waiting for? Pull him. Pull him. What's the matter with you? He, he's the devil. What's the matter? You go loco? See, I'm loco. You go loco too if you see what I see. Hey, caramba. Cisco, speak to me. You're not dead, are you? He's not you, is it? Oh, stop shivering like a piece of liver. There is only one Cisco kid. And I am me. And then, who he is? I don't know. Maybe your pink lizard should bring us bad luck. Oh. Eh? Yeah. This hombre is still alive. Bring the water, quick. It's better he die, eh? Oh, you fool. I cannot bear to see this hombre die. Feel too much like I die myself. Andale, pronto. What do we do now? Uh, we take this hombre to Mama Lopez. First, we find out who he is. You'd be surprised if he's my twin brother, huh? Then you have a twin brother? No, that's the trouble. I'm not living. Mama Lopez! Mama Lopez! Mama Lopez. Cisco, what happened? Dead. No, no, do not worry, Mama Lopez. <laughs> the hombre, he looked very much like me, that is all. Si. Hey, you know how to take our bullet? Hmm? Andale, pronto. Well. Are you go loco yourself? <laughs> no, no Gordito, I was just thinking. <laughs> if this hombre who looked like me stay in this territory, he will find the senoritas very good friends. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, I think. Yeah, amigo, how much money did he have? Money? Uh, See, si, money. Come on, give it to me. Ah, quita de mala suerte. <laughs> Any more? Nothing, nothing. Mira, mira, dámelo, dámelo. Oh, only a picture and a silver medal. She's very beautiful. Maybe she's the hombre's mama. And this is the holy medal of the saint to protect travelers. <laughs> this means gold to you and this silver. Ah, you have no heart, no soul, no sentiment, nada, nothing. But Cisco, I'm only... Uh, what else you steal from dying man? His teeth? Nothing. Oh, only papers. Well, give them to me. With money on table, you look papers. Yeah, my brain is one. This letter is worth more, a hundred times more than this money. Bueno, bueno. You keep the papers, I'll take the money. No, wait. Maybe you make bad bargain. Eh. This hombre who have the honor to look like me is no hombre. He's Don Carlos, the grandson of Don Fernando da Vega. For Rancho Santa Margarita. Si. His mama, she marry a señor without the permission of Don Fernando. He kick her out. She and the husband go to Spain. Pobrecitos. She said there? Si. 
Now Don Fernando he asked for forgiveness. He want Don Carlos to come to Santa Margarita. Eh? He gave him the whole rancho. Ah, qué bueno, está bueno. Hey, Mama Lopez, how is he? Bad, very bad. Santa Margarita? Eh? It's the richest rancho from Mexico City to the Colorado River. I have heard that the jewels of the Davecas are worth millions of pesos. They have been in the family since the time of the conquistadores. Ransom for a prince. Then we go to the rancho, we kill Don Fernando, take the jewels, then we're rich. I like to be a prince. Oh, you are stupid. What good is a jewelry if they hang you up for murder? That is too bad. Sir Antonio de los Burros, I have a plan. Don Fernando, he never sees his grandson. He's waiting for him now to come to Santa Margarita. Well, he will come. Oh, but he's a very sick man. See, si, see, si, that is the plan. I will take his place. <laughs> <risa> la cucaracha, la cucaracha, ya no puede caminar porque no tiene, porque le falta. Son de veras las más bellas. Cisco. <risa> I'm worried about this plan. Ah, my little fat one, why do you worry? Don't I look like Don Carlos, huh? Si. And haven't I tell Mama Lopez to look after the Senor carefully, not to let anybody see him? Si, si. And don't I read all the papers and the letters that belong to Don Carlos? Si. Well, from now on I speak English like I was taught in the school. <laughs> then the plan cannot fail. Hey, how do you like my English, huh? Pretty good. But Cisco, when the stagecoach come to Rio Oro and they don't find the Senor, what you say? Where you was? Well, I say I was shot and I fall off the coach and... You find me? Eh, hey, caracoles! <laughs> hey, sometimes you have a brain, eh? If I am shot, where is my wound? We must fix that pronto. Man. Get off the horse. Bang or Here. Now hold this against the tree like this, by the chain. What you gonna do? <laughs> I think this metal will be better luck for us than it was for Don Carlos. Now hold it still. Did I bend it? Caramba, you almost killed me. Uh, miss, we try again. And this time, don't shake your hand. Amigo, it's better I bend it with my teeth, eh? Uh, silencio, hold it up. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> bueno. Why you do this? <laughs> you will see. Come, now we are ready for Santa Margarita. Buenas noches, Maria. Now that Don Carlos is coming, I suppose you'll forget all about us. Fine European gentleman from the city with pink nails. Don't interest me. I want a ranchero who will lasso my heart like a steer. <laughs> I do not understand. Carlos should have arrived hours ago. Probably the stage was late in Rio. Don't be so impatient. Oh, I cannot help it. What will I say to him? Do you think he will approve of it? Dispensable, Don Fernando. The carriage is coming. Bueno, play begin. Let the fiesta begin. Come, Rosita. We will welcome the lads of the Davegas to his future home. Or perhaps I should have said your future husband, eh, Rosita? Perhaps. <laughs> Has he not come? I'm sorry, Don Fernando, but the stagecoach, it was held up ten miles from Rio Oro. The driver, he was killed. And my grandson? He is gone, senor. Only his trunk is left. Oh, I go with the marshal and the posse. We search everywhere, but we could find no trace of him. Organize our own posse. We must look everywhere. My grandson must be found. See, si, senor. I'm sorry, Don Fernando. Shall I stop the fiesta? No, no, let it continue. I do not wish to disappoint our guests. Excuse me, Don Fernando. I'm going to my room. Find courage, my old friend, and have faith. A moment. What is my name? Cisco. You fool, I tell you a hundred times, my name is Carlos Hernandez. I remember, Cisco, I remember. Ay, que bruto. Carlos Hernandez. Si, si, all right, Cisco. Oh, 
Oh, I'm glad my trunk have arrived. Put it in my room, huh? Don Carlos! Gracias a Dios que llegó, Don Carlos. Come and go, Don Carlos. Carlos, my grandson, my grandfather. I have waited a long time for this moment. Let me look at you. Yes, yes, you are a Vega. You do not know how glad I am to hear you say that. But tell me, what happened? We sent a carriage for you to Rio Oro. It's a long story. Oh, of course, of course, my poor boy, you must be tired. This story will wait. First, let me introduce you. This is Father Martinez, who listened to your mother's confessions when she was a girl. No, I see, Father, she spoke of you often. Welcome, Don Carlos. Your cousin, Ricardo. We are all glad to see you. Right, Don Ricardo. And Maria Cordova. Don Carlos. Come, Carlos. Now we can enjoy the fiesta. What is it, Mara? He has arrived. Who has arrived? Don Carlos, senorita. Don Carlos. Are you sure? See, si, and Don Fernando wants you to come down right away. All right, Mara. I drink to my grandson, who has given me the happiest moment of my old day. Salud. 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 Gracias. Maria, Maria. Please sing something, Maria. Something bright and cheerful. Sit down, Fernando. Who is that girl? She's the daughter of an old friend. She was raised here on the ranch. Just a child. She's a pretty child. Mm. Ah, here comes my ward, Rosita. Excuse me. There he is, Rosita. I think I'm going to like it very much in Santa Margarita. Senoritas, always in mean trouble. Remember, Cisco, we come for jewels. Yeah, maybe we mix business with pleasure, eh, amigo? Come on. Don Carlos, we are looking forward to your arrival. And gracias, senorita. Had I known of your beauty, I, I would not have stayed away so long. <laughs> Thank you. We were terribly worried. We thought something dreadful had happened. No, it was terrible, senorita. I was shot here, and I fell off the coach, but this wonderful senor, he found me. He took me home, gave me food, water, and bath, and he bring me here. Our deepest thanks to you, senor. I will not insult you with an offer of money. Money and insult, senor? <laughs> you say you were shot in the chest, and yet you don't seem wounded. It must have been a miracle. Oh, my cousin, it was a miracle. The bullet of the bandido struck my holy medal. Look. Your skies are blue, your senorita is true. Sing a prayer for you, ride on the carol. Skies full of crimson are casting their blow. Over the hills and the valleys below. Your skies are blue. 
Passover. In my youth, we would celebrate an occasion like this for a week. Did you enjoy your homecoming, Carlos? No, I see very much, Grandfather Gratis. Well, I must retire while I still feel young, or soon Ricardo will again remind me that I am an old man. <laughs> Come, Padre Tito, we leave the young ones alone. Buenas noches, my son. Buenas noches, Buenas noches. Good night. Oh, uh, may I walk with you to your room? Please do. Good night, Ricardo. Good night. Buenas noches, Ricardo. Not in bed yet, Maria? No. Good night, dear. Good night. I enjoyed the song very much, Maria. Gracias. <laughs> what a lovely party. I enjoyed being with you so much. Gracias. Well, it has ended, so... Good night, Carlos. You are fascinating, senorita. Carlos has gone to his room. Surely you're not jealous. Very jealous. It's been a long time since you flattered me so, darling. You're a very beautiful woman, Rosita. And you're sure of my love for you, aren't you? But I warn you, I'll do anything I can to protect it. I can't say I liked your behavior tonight. What else did you expect me to do? Ignore your dear cousin? When after all the careful plans you ladies suddenly appeared. Yes, I know. But I'm sorry. His coming here did upset me. And now that he is here, you can't expect me to behave differently than I have. I must obey Don Fernando's wishes. And marry him, you mean? There may be no other choice. Don't upset yourself about it, my darling. I understand. Of course, we'll do everything we can to make Don Carlos' life here a happy one. And as short as possible. Where you been? Uh, I found out where they keep the jewels. How you find out? The cook, she tells me. You ask her? No, I say, I have a big bundle of money, I'm afraid for thieves. And? So, she takes the money and put it in the safe. Yeah, how you like this, huh? Oh, está muy bueno, ese. Where you get big bundle of money? <laughs> I take it from Ricardo's pocket tonight. Mentecato, I tell you a thousand times, Cisco make the plans around here, not you. What you got in there? Nada. Hmm. So, you robbed Don Ricardo and you steal candlesticks and you are happy, huh? You don't worry about me. You had worries? Naturalmente. You had trouble, Cisco? Sure, I got trouble. I cannot make up my mind which senorita I like best. Hmm. The young one, she's soft and lovely. Like a newborn flower. But the other one, huh, she's beautiful, exciting, full of fire. I think I like the older one better. But then perhaps, well, in good time. What about the jewels? Well, the senoritas are both jewels, no? Cisco, I like the padre very much, but if we stay here, he'll bury us. Eh, no seas ridiculo, I take care of that. Now take the candlesticks back. Back? Si, sí, andale pronto. I cannot keep one. No, take them both back. Oh, gordito, you are very happy, hombre. Todo el tiempo me regaña cuando hago las cosas. Él sí puede hacer todo, pero yo no. Yo soy un mala suerte que tengo todo el tiempo. <laughs> Me muero y no sé por qué, no quiero, no quiero, no quiero que tú me des 
Me rabas que me fascinan y que me matan poco después. No, 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 no me vuelvas a respirar. No, 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 no me vuelvas a respirar. Bravo, bravo. You sing very pretty, Maria. Gracias. When a beautiful song is sung by a very beautiful senorita, it's like rich wine from our wine gardens in Portugal. Portugal? But I thought your home was in Spain. Uh, oh, see, si, see, si, my, my home is in Spain, but uh, my father, he had a wine garden in Portugal. <laughs> oh, I see. Do you like Santa Margarita? Very much. I am very happy to be here and very lucky, too. It must be very different from Spain. Oh, it's big difference. The senorita here are much prettier. Oh, please, Maria, do not treat me so strange and cold. I have been watching you all evening, and each time my heart beat faster. You believe me, no? No. You do not like Don Carlos? I haven't thought about it. All I have thought about was the future of Santa Margarita. And what kind of a man you'd be to run it? Oh, that can wait. That is not important. When love flies in the window, the rancho goes out. <laughs> so you came thousands of miles to make pretty speeches in the moonlight. Or bandits are slaughtering off a carol, stealing our cattle, ruining Santa Margarita. But I did not know this. Don Fernando did not tell me. He wouldn't. He's too proud. But now you know. Uh, who are these bandidos? Ricardo says the leader's a Cisco kid. The Cisco kid? But well, that is not true. How do you know? Well, uh, well I, I, I do not know. I, I, I just read about the Cisco kid. And he never steal horses and cattle and kill vaqueros. He's a brave, wonderful man who loves adventure and excitement. But Ricardo was sure it's a Cisco kid. Why, once during a cattle raid, he even shot at him. So, maybe Ricardo know more than me. <laughs> I must speak to him. I'm sorry I was so rude. Oh, Maria, you were not rude. You give me some very important information. Gracias. Good night, Don Carlos. Psst, psst, psst. Hey, Cisco, come here. My name is Carlos. See, I remember Cisco. I remember. Why do you come here when I make love to the senorita? Come quick, I show you. Come. Listen, Mr. De Vega, we did just as you told us. Maybe he wasn't riding with the driver. Wasn't no other passengers. He's the same hombre. I see him good. Ah, if you see him good, why don't you kill him good? I did. I tell you, I hit him right here. Then maybe the story he told about the medal was true. Hmm? Oh, it's a wonderful night, Don Gordito. <laughs> oh, this place, it reminds me of my home in Granada. See, <laughs> see, si, si, Don Carlos. Indeed, it's a wonderful place. Buenas noches. Buenas noches, Gaudito. Oh, buenas noches, cousin Ricardo. I thought you would be asleep. Oh, no. The night is too beautiful. <laughs> the stars are like jewels. It is a beautiful night. See, si, but not to spend in these tables. It's a night for love. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, my dear cousin. Maria told me there are many bandidos in this territory. She said you yourself had nearly killed the Cisco kid. I shot at him, but he got away. Oh, that is too bad. Are you sure it was him? Positive. I've seen him many times. What does he look like? He's short, with dark, treacherous eyes. As filthy as a pig. No, see. Si. Hey, I would like to see this filthy bandido. Perhaps he come back again. Maybe you take me with you, eh? I would be glad to. Oh, gracias. Not at all. Well, good night. <laughs> Buenas noches. Good night. Why do you play like a cat with the mice? I kill him, eh? Uh, not so fast. Something smell around here, and it's not the flowers. Ricardo gave the order to kill Don Carlos. He tried once, he do it again. But this time he kill you. That'd be a big joke on him, no? See. Si. <laughs> <laughs> Vamos, para la cama. For five generations, Santa Margarita has been a proud family possession. Every foot of this soil has been bought daily with toil and tears. For the first time, they got paid for it with his life. His sons, grandsons, and great-grandsons have protected it, nourished it and kept it alive. And today it is the richest rancho in all Arizona. Venga. A 
As far as the eye can see, it is mine. Someday it will be yours, Carlos. If I'd not been so pig-headed and stubborn, you would have been born and raised here to ride fine horses and raise good cattle. The great pastures and fields of grain, all this would have been part of it. I only pray it is not too late. You seem so serious, Carlos. Does the prospect of owning this rancho someday frighten you? Oh, no, no, no. I was just thinking. I hope your grandson will be half the man you are. Gracias, Carlos. I think he will. <coughs> la cucaracha, la cucaracha, ya no quiere caminar. Porque no tiene, porque le falta. Son las mexicanitas. Todas las mexicanitas en los ojos tienen dos hermosas estrellas, pero la más bonita son las mexicanitas. I got good news. But the she tell me how to open the safe. You still nothing? No, no, aguanto, but I do not. Bueno. Cisco, why are you so angry? Uh, Don Fernando is a fine man. He loved me like a son. I make big mistake to come here. All my life I like adventure and excitement, but I do not like to be cheap liar and thief. Here, you go to Mama Lopez's house. Find out if Don Carlos is better. When he come here, we go away. But she's... Silencio, when I say go, you go. Well...
The hombre, he got the fever, but she say he will live. Oh, I hope he does. Why? Because if Don Carlos is alive, he will come to Santa Margarita, where he belongs. Amigo, Marta, she tell me the grandfather gave her the rancho, no? Si. Then why you want to give it away? Why don't we sell the rancho? We steal the jewels and go away, eh? Because it does not belong to us. It belongs to Don Carlos. Ah, you loco. In silencio. The dead body of Don Fernando is still warm when you talk like this. Do you not know that the wish of a dying man is holy? If we don't do what he say, he curses from the grave. Until Don Carlos is better, we stay here. This plan is no good. No, why? If you stay here, Ricardo will bury you. If Don Carlos come back, he bury him. <laughs> you have good head, my little fat one. Maybe it's a good chance we bury Ricardo, eh? Oh, see? Si. You like my chili, senor? It's wonderful. You like the tortillas, senor? Ah, it's beautiful. You like me? Si, si. How much you like me? Huh? You are fascinated, senorita. You just like the rich wine from my wine garden in Portugal. Gracias, senor, gracias. Then kiss me. <laughs> ah, my chili, please. <laughs> Buenas noches, Maria. Buenas noches, Don Carlos. Where have you been? I have not seen you all day. I've been busy packing. I'm going away. You, you are going away? But where? To my aunt in Mexico City. But why? This is your home. It was while Don Fernando was alive. Now I, I'm no longer happy here. Oh, you talk like little niña. It was Don Fernando's wish that you stay here with me. And Rosita? Oh. <laughs> now I understand. Here, sit down, please. You think I will marry Rosita? And then you will become like a... a servant, eh? Yes. She has told me so, many times. Well, do not worry, querida mia. Don Carlos has a mind of his own. Maybe he will like Maria better than Rosita. And you will not go away. Ricardo. Rosita. Ricardo, you know we shouldn't meet like this. Don Carlos will get suspicious. I had to see you. Quickly, what is it you want? Why have you been ignoring me? Please, let's not argue about that. So you're going to marry Don Carlos? If he asks me, it's Don Fernando's wish. You don't care how you become the first lady of Santa Margarita, just so you accomplish it, is that it? You're hurting me. Answer me. It's not true. I hope you mean what you say, my darling. Because after tomorrow, I will be the master of Santa Margarita. What does he mean? As long as Don Carlos is alive, Ricardo will be a very unhappy man. You mean he's going to... Naturalmente. He tried twice before, tomorrow he try again. You think it was Ricardo? Yes, si, si. he gave the order. But you must do something about it now. No, oh, no. It's better to let him act first. But you may get killed. <laughs> do not worry, amor mio. I read in a book that here in America, if you're going to kill an hombre, it's better to do it in self-defense. It's legal that way. And I have great respect for the law. It's a wonderful morning. It's good to be alive and healthy, no? What is the matter with all of you? You're so quiet. Something happened? Yes. There was another raid in St. Louis Canyon last night. Carver sent down word it was the Cisco kid again. Again? See? Uh, once and for all, we must get rid of this filthy bandido. I'm going up with Manuel this morning. Maybe you'd like to come with us. Oh, but of course, we leave at once. Don Carlos, aren't you going to have your breakfast? No, my father always says it's better to die on empty stomach. <laughs> well, pues, maybe you get a chance to shoot at the Cisco kid again, eh? Vamos. Is it 
come. You three men take the other side. Our orders are to kill the first two men coming up the canyon. Uh, perhaps it's better if you and Manuel go first. You forget I am man from the city. You're doing very well. We can go as we are. Manuel and I will watch for ambush. Go ahead. Bueno, bueno. bueno. No, I'm ashamed to say it, but I'm a scared. But there's nothing to worry about. I know, but just the same, I'm a scared. Careful, senores. I think she sleep very easy. Now lead the way. You stay behind. Andale. is all I wanted to get to Santa Margarita. Huh. I saved your life, and you talk to me like a dog. But please, you do not... Hold still. Of course, uh, I am thankful for everything you have done for me, but why do you not let my grandfather know where I am? Oh, senor, your fever is high again. Grandfather, Santa Margarita. Oh. Go back to sleep. Mama Lopez. What do you want? Something to eat and drink. Oh, uh, I am close. Not to us. Now bring us some food and tequila pronto. Si, senor. What's the matter? Turning away customers? Open the door. What is that? Uh, my husband, he have too much to take in. Tell him to shut up. Mama Lopez, open the door. Open the door, Mama Lopez. Oh, no, no, please, please, I, I tell him. Yes, sit down, senor. Open the door. Shh. Go back to bed, sick. Buenos dias, senores. I'm sorry to upset your dinner, but perhaps you can help me. I am Carlos Hernandez. Dispense me. I was on my way to Rancho Santa Margarita. The coach was held up and I was wounded. How did you get here? And Mama Lopez says that two senores brought me here. Where are the senores now? I do not know. They went away. They took my clothes, my money, my passport, everything. Please, could you help me? Of course, Cousin Carlos. Cousin? Si. I'm Ricardo de Vega. Oh, si, Don Fernando, he wrote me about you. Oh, I'm very happy. I was my grandfather. I thought I would never see him. I'm afraid you never will. He passed away a few days ago. 
Ay, no me lo diga. Oh, I am very sorry. I... I wanted so much to know him. It was a great shock to us, too. Well, the ranch is quite a distance from here. I'll bring back a carriage for you. Well, that is very good of you. In the meantime, you should go back to bed. Get all the rest that you can. Oh, muchas gracias. I'll see you later. What do you make of it? This man is the real Don Carlos. The man you were supposed to have killed. Well, I think too late yet. Wait a minute. Time enough for that. You stay here and watch him carefully. Pretend to be friendly. I'll be back. Keep your eye on Mama Lopez. Marshal. How are you, Mr. DeVega? I'm sure sorry to hear about your uncle. One the more decent hombre in the territory. Anyhow, the old car to live long enough to see his grandson. But he didn't, Marshal. That's what I'm here for. We've located the real Don Carlos in the Vaquero's cabin on our land. What's that? Yes. The man who claims to be Don Carlos is an imposter. He's the one who shot and robbed my cousin. They look enough alike to be twin brothers. Hold on, Mr. De Vega. Is this here cousin of yours allowed to tell the story? Well, just about. He was shot up pretty bad, and I doubt that he'll live. I'm going to take care of him now. Well, I'll be tired and feathered if that ain't a pretty slick trick. Just a minute. Only one hombre that I know of could get away with this. They say to him by any chance, is it? Yes. Yes, this is the man. That's just what I figured. We're going to make a call on the Cisco kid. Where is Cisco? When Senor Carver is not looking, I go out through that door. But I tell you to lock the sick hombre in the room, no? It's not my fault, Cisco. The hombre have the fever. He make big noise. So, uh, it's better we take the jewels and go down with Cisco. No, we go to Mama Lopez place front. Marshal. Come on. Ricardo Nimos. Mama Lopez, when we go, you lock the door. When the marshal he come, shoot the pistol in the sky, comprende? Si. Look out, don't hit nobody. Under your hit. So, you stay here. No, no, Ruto, por aquí. Francisco, you're under arrest. Come on out from under there. We've got you covered. Thunder. Where's the Cisco kid? No, 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 stay. She came here to warn him, Marshal. <laughs> there they go. Come on. Get out. Seven, Ricardo. That man who claims to be Don Carlos is an imposter. An imposter? Yes, he's the Cisco kid.
Francisco. No, why you no catch the horse? I'm sorry, you ride with him. It's no good, the marshal he catches in five minutes. Oh, carambas. You stay here, I go up in the cliff. Why you do this? It's our only chance. Oh, but the marshal he shoot me. Here, when you see the marshal, wait that. Oh, I don't like this business. Andale pronto, pues. I reckon one of their horses gave out. Well, keep your eyes peeled, it may be a trap. My amigo, he fell off the horse, hurt pretty bad. Where is your amigo? Here I am, senores. Grab the pistolas. It's a long time we meet, senor marshal. You hang for this, Cisco. <laughs> you told me that many times before. <laughs> Uh, get off the horses, pronto. No, amigo, pick up the pistolas while I come down from here. <laughs> With your permission, senor marshal, I take your horse, huh? The other horses, they are tired, so I think I send them home. <laughs> I didn't think you'd do that to me, Cisco. Put me a foot out here 40 miles from nowhere. <laughs> when the Senor Marshal is on his feet, it's much better for the Cisco kid. <laughs> bueno, pues, adios. Hasta la vista. Only me. I cannot rest. Where is Mama Lopez? She beat it away. She went away? Where? Uh, that's what I'm worried about. Oh, senor, why should you worry? Ain't none of your business. I have a good mind to blow you full of holes and beat it myself. You are too late, senor Carver. Put up the hands. Hey, Gordito, get the pistolas. Senor Carver is very tired. Put him to bed and tie him there. Do not worry, senor. It is not the fever. You have the good fortune to look like me. I am Gonzalo Sebastián Rodrigo Don Juan Chicuelo. But it cannot be. See, that is what I thought the first time I see you. You have seen me before. Oh, see, sí, my little fat amigo and me. We find you on the stagecoach. We bring you here. Gracias. That was very kind of you. You're too quick with the times. When you were very sick, senor, I read all your papers and letters. I find out who you are. So I go to Santa Margarita and I say, I am you. You what? Si, senor. The man you have the honor to look like is the Cisco Kid. The Cisco Kid? Si, senor. I am the man. Now you understand? I understand very well. You're a dirty pig. Eh. You have courage, Don Carlos. You do not disgrace our face. Gracias. Now, what did you come back here for? To take you to Santa Margarita? To bury me near my grandfather? No, no. Before I see the rancho and before I meet Don Fernando and Maria, Maybe yes, but not now. No, now everything is changed. I promised Don Fernando that his grandson will be master of Santa Margarita. And this is coquette, he always keep his promise. Oh, there are much things to tell you and much things to be done. We must work quick. Please, sit down. Don Carlos, your grandfather was a wonderful man. Maria, she's in the garden. She says she's not hungry. That child is becoming more and more annoying. I've never seen her act so strangely as she has today. I wish she'd decide to leave. Tomorrow you'll be able to make a decision for her. If only I could be as sure of all this as you are. This time it can't fail, my darling. The minute I give Carver the word, I will be the legal head of Santa Margarita. It's very simple. Hacienda, Carlos, is over there. When I finish my business, I come back and I give you Santa Margarita and a very beautiful senorita. Muchas gracias. You're a good friend. Oh, it is nothing. I go with you, eh, Cisco? No, 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 no. You stay here with Don Carlos. You come with me and they think I am Cisco. 
But you are, Cisco, no? Si, si. And he is Don Carlos. But tonight at the Hacienda, I will be Don Carlos. <laughs> bueno, pues. Adiós, amigos. Buena suerte. What's wrong, Martha? The senor, he is back. Calm yourself. What, senor? The senor Don Carlos. He has to see you. He says he's the real Don Carlos. Where is he? In the sala. This time we can't fail, my darling. Shall we join our cousin? Don Carlos. Not as Don This is a surprise. How did you manage to get here? At the marshal, we followed the Cisco kid to Mama Lopez's house. They have a terrible fight. They captured him then. The marshal sent me here with one of his men. What happened to Carver? I'm afraid poor Senor Carver was shot. Forgive me, I'm very tired. Of course, you must be. Please sit down. I am Rosita. I... Oh, of course. Don Fernando wrote to me about you. You are a far more beautiful senorita than he said you were. Gracias. This is Maria Cordova and Padre Martin. It is a pleasure. Ah, oh, these last few days have been terrible. I am very happy to be alive, to be here with my beloved cousin, faithful friends. Can we get you some food or drink? Oh, si, gracias. I am very hungry. Tell Martha to prepare some food. We'll join you later. Have you enjoyed your food? Oh, si, si, very much. You are very kind. I hope we will be good friends. Thank you. I'm sure we will. And now, if you're finished, I'd like to show you to your room. Oh, si, bueno, gracias. Here you are. Oh, it is very beautiful, gracias. I'll see you in the morning at breakfast. Bueno, hasta mañana. Hasta mañana. Forgive me for coming to your room, but I had to warn you. You're in great danger. I do not understand. Oh, you must believe me. But Ricardo was not your friend. It was he who tried to kill you on the coach, and he tried twice to kill the Cisco kid, thinking it was you. Oh, you do believe me, don't you? Oh, of course I believe you. Those pretty eyes could not tell a lie. But do not worry. I know everything before you tell me. You know? How? The Cisco kid, he told me. But you said... Oh, I tell a lie. The Cisco kid brought me here. Then he wasn't caught? He's free? See. That makes you very happy, eh? Huh? Well, yes, he... He's a wonderful man, even if he is an outlaw. Oh, senorita, he would love to hear you say that. Because he thinks you are very wonderful, too. He said that? See. He asked me to give you something for him. You don't like to kiss? Yes, but... Is this Cogiri? Tell me how. Please, Maria, you must go now. Oh, if Senorita Locke is with me tonight, maybe I'll kiss you again in the morning. Buenas noches. of arguing the same thing over and over again. I think your well thought out plan has failed and is over with. You can make up your mind to that. I, for one, no longer want any part of it. Please go, Ricardo. 
I'm insanely in love with you, Rosita. That love has even driven me to murder. You can't throw it away. I won't let you. Let go of me. Let go of me. Who is it? It's I, Don Carlos. Come. Go on downstairs. I'll meet you later. Just a minute, Don Carlos. Forgive me, but I cannot sleep. Could I speak to you, please? Come in. Gracias. I... I thought I heard you talking to someone. No, I was quite alone. Oh. Well, it's a very pretty room you have. Yes, it is nice, isn't it? Won't you sit down? Gracias. I will speak to you... Uh, how do you say francamente in English? Frankly. Why not? I will speak to you frankly. It was my grandfather's wish that someday I marry you. Yes, he spoke of it often. I do not know how to say it, but... I would like you to do me the honor of marrying me tomorrow. Well, I... Oh, I know it is very soon to ask you, but... Everything I have ever dreamed of you has come true. The first time I see you, my heart beat fast and quick, Karina Mia. Oh, please, Rosita, give me your promise. Mi vida. You have made me the happiest man in the world. Buenas noches, amor mío. Good night, my darling. Don't be alarmed, my darling. I understand perfectly. You really had no choice. But of course I didn't. You must believe that. I do believe you. I always have. The mistake you made was not believing everything I have said. And I mean to show you that... Now get out! Get out! Sympathy. Gracias, Padre. Please, Maria. Do not go. You feel sorry for Ricardo and Rosita, no? I suppose I shouldn't, but I... No, I understand. Your heart is very tender. But you must forget this trouble. Tomorrow is another day. And when it comes, I hope it will bring happiness to Santa Margarita. Now I must go and tell Cisco that everything is all right. Will you tell him something for me? But of course. Will you tell him I... I think he's a fine man. And I shall always think of him. Pray for him. Adios. It's very strange. When I wear your clothes, I am Carlos. When I wear these, I am Cisco. <laughs> Who you are now? Who do you think, huh? Carlos. <laughs> <laughs> you see, we even fool my little far amigo. <laughs> bueno, pues, remember what I tell you. And make Maria happy. I will try. It's better we go now. Soon the padre, he get up to pray. I cannot tell you what is in my heart. All I can say is, I am your friend. Adios. Un momento, Carlos. When you kiss Maria, do not forget what I tell you, eh? No. 
Adiós, amigo. Adiós. Good morning, Don Carlos. Oh, good morning, Maria. You act so strange this morning, as though you were another man. Oh, no, I, I couldn't have sleep very well, so I went for a ride. Well, shall we go? Don Carlos, you forgot the promise you made to me last night. Oh, the promise, eh? <laughs> you said if luck was with you, you would... I would kiss you again in the morning. <laughs> Cisco, that thing Lisa should bring us bad luck, I think. Ah, oh, it's not so bad. I am grandson, I own rancho. Soon I marry Maria and we have children too. <laughs> but you will not be there. Well, cheer up, my little fat one. My father, he always say, Gonzalo Sebastián Rodrigo Don Juan Chicuelo, my son. When you're about to get married, don't. <laughs> 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 <laughs>